The Apocalypse of Paul, chapter 25 through 30, chapter 25. But I went forward, and the angel led me and brought me unto the river of honey. And I saw there Elijah, and Jeremiah, and Ezekiel, and Amos, and Michael, and Zacharias, even the prophets lesser and greater. And they greeted me in the city. And I said unto the angel, What is this path? And he said unto me, This is the path of the prophets, every one that hath grieved his soul and not done his own will, for I am sake, when he is departed out of the world, and hath been brought unto the Most High Power, and worshipped him. Then by the commandment of I am, he is delivered unto Michael, and he bringeth him into the city, unto this place of the prophets. And they greet him as their friend and neighbor, because he hath performed the will of I am. All praise. Chapter 25 was beautiful. The Apocalypse of Paul, chapter 26. Again, he led me where there was a river of milk, and I saw in the place all the children whom the king Herod slew for the name of Christ. And they greeted me, and the angel said unto me, All they that keep chastity and cleanness, when they are gone out of the body, after they worship the Most High Power, are delivered unto Michael and brought unto the children. And they greet them, saying, They are our brothers and friends and members. Among them shall they inherit the promises of I Am. The Apocalypse of Paul, Chapter 27 Again he took me and brought me to the north side of the city, and led me to where was the river of wine. And I saw there Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, Lot, and Job, and other saints, and they greeted me. The angel ran unto all the righteous that are there, Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, Enoch, Elijah, and David. He conversed with them as a friend with a friend who talked together. And I asked and said, What is this place, Lord? The angel answered and said unto me, All they that are entertainers of strangers, when they are departed out of the world, first worship the Most High Power. And when they are delivered unto Michael and brought by this path into the city, and all the righteous greet him as a son and brother, and say unto him, Because thou hast kept kindliness in the entertainment of strangers, come thou and have an inheritance in the city of our Most High Power, I am. Every one of the righteous shall receive the good things of I am in the city according to his deeds. All praise. So according to the apocalypse of Paul in chapter 27, according to chapter 27, even Lot is in heaven. Lot? The same Lot that slept with his two daughters? So if Lot can get away with that and be in the kingdom for all the righteous that he's done, what makes you think that you're excluded or disqualified all you have to do is follow the most high's law statutes and commandments you could start now you could start today all praise the apocalypse of paul chapter 28 and again he took me to the river of oil on the east side of the city and i saw their men rejoicing and singing psalms and said who are these lord and the angel said unto me these are they that have devoted themselves unto I am with their whole heart and had in them no pride. For all that rejoice in the most high power I am and sing praises to the most high with their whole heart are brought here into this city. Apocalypse of Paul chapter 29 And he took me into the midst of the city by the twelve walls. Now there was in that place an higher wall, and I asked and said, Is there in the city of Christ a wall more excellent in honor than this place? And the answer answered and said unto me, The second is better than the first, and likewise the third than the second. For one excelleth the other even unto the twelfth wall. And I said, Wherefore, Lord, doth one excel another in glory? Show me. And the angel answered and said unto me, All they that have in them even a little slandering, or envy, or pride, somewhat is taken away from his glory, even if he be in the city of Christ. Look thou behind thee. And I turned myself, and saw golden thrones set at the several gates, and upon them men having golden crowns and jewels. And I looked and saw within among the twelve men thrones set in another order, which appeared of much glory, so that no man is able to declare the praise of them. And I asked the angel and said, Lord, who is upon the throne? And the angel answered and said unto me, 
These are the thrones of them that had goodness and understanding of heart, and yet made themselves foolish for the Most High's sake, knowing neither the scriptures nor many psalms, but keeping in mind one chapter of the prophets of I Am, they performed it with great diligence, and had a right intent before the Most High Power. And for these great wonders shall take hold upon all the saints, before the Most High Power I Am, who shall speak one with another, saying, Stay and behold the unlearned that know nothing, how they have earned such and so fair raiment and so great glory because of their innocency. And I saw in the midst of the city an altar exceedingly high, and there was one standing by the altar whose visage shone like the sun. And he held in his hands a sorcery and an harp, and sang praises, saying, Hallelujah! And his voice filled all the city. And when all that were upon the towers and the gates heard him, they answered, Hallelujah! So that the foundations of the city were shaken. And I again asked the angel and said, Who is this Lord that is of so great might? And the answer said unto me, This is David. This is the city of Jerusalem. And when Christ the King of eternity shall come in the fullness of his kingdom, he shall again go before him to sing praises. And all the righteous together shall sing praises, answering, Hallelujah. And I said, Lord, how is it that David, only above the rest of the saints, make it the beginning of singing praises? And the angel answered and said unto me, When Christ, the Son of the Most High, sitteth on the right hand of his Father, this David shall sing praises before him in the seventh heaven. And as it is done in the heavens, so likewise it is below. For without David is it not lawful to offer a sacrifice unto I am, but it must needs be that David sing praises at the hour of the offering of the body and blood of Christ. And it is performed in heaven, so also is it upon earth. All praise. Chapter 29 was beautiful. And as it says, David is the one that sings praises to the Son of Man. And it only makes sense because, I mean, David is the only one in the Bible that has a whole book called Psalms of nothing but beautiful songs. So it only makes sense that David is the minister to the Son of Man. The Apocalypse of Paul, chapter 30. And I said unto the angel, Lord, what is hallelujah? And the angel answered and said unto me, Thou dost examine and inquire of all things. And he said unto me, Hallelujah is spoken in the Hebrew. That is the speech of I am and of the angels. I asked the angel and said, Lord, do all they that say hallelujah bless I am? And the angel answered and said unto me, so it is, and if any sing hallelujah, and they that are present sing not with him, they commit sin, if they sing not with him. And I said, Lord, doth a man likewise sin, if he be dotting or very aged? The angel answered and said unto me, Not so, but he that is able, and singeth not with him, know ye that such a one is a despiser of the word, for it would be proud and unworthy that he should not bless the most high power I am that I am, his creator. All praise to the power of the Son of Man, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. I am that I am. We went through chapters 25 through 30. And Apocalypse of Paul is really interesting, y'all. So stay tuned. All praise to the power of the Son of Man, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Aman. Shalom.